The Pittsburgh Steelers are favored at home in Week 2 as they host the Minnesota Vikings on Fox. The Vikings are coming off a very impressive win over New Orleans in Week 1, while the Steelers are coming off a close win over Cleveland. The Vikings and Steelers have not met since 2013 when the Vikings won 34-27 at home. Their last meeting in Pittsburgh was back in 2009 when the Steelers won 27-17. Pittsburgh opened at minus six, but the line has been bet down to five and a half, while the total has also come down a half point to 45. The Vikings showed a lot more on offense in week one than they did a year ago, as they scored 29 points in a 29-19 win over New Orleans. The Vikings got great play from Sam Bradford as he threw for 346 yards, and his receivers Stefan Diggs and Adam Thielen were explosive, with rookie running back Dalvin Cook gaining 127 yards. The Vikings could be a team to watch all season, as they look to have a much better offensive line than they did a year ago. Bradford was given a lot of time to throw against the Saints, and when he has time, he is a very good quarterback. Minnesota gets a bit of a break this week, as they probably won't be facing Pittsburgh's top pass rusher, Stefan Tuitt, who suffered a bicep injury in Week 1. Minnesota's defense is one of the best in the NFL, and they shut down Drew Brees and the Saints for most of the game. The Pittsburgh Steelers just barely slipped past the Browns last week. Quarterback Ben Roethlisberger was 24 of 36 for 263 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. Le'Veon Bell was disappointing as he had just 32 yards, but Antonio Brown was great as he had 182 yards. The Steelers were expected to have an explosive offense this season, with Ben Roethlisberger, Le'Veon Bell, and Antonio Brown all leading the way. Brown did his part in Week 1, but Bell was a bust, and Roethlisberger wasn't great. The Steelers get a big test this week against a Minnesota defense that is definitely better than Cleveland's. Taking a look at some statistics, the Minnesota Vikings and Pittsburgh Steelers have split their last 10 games. The Vikings are 5-0 against the spread in their last five games in September, and the Vikings are 12-5 against the spread against teams with a winning record. The Steelers are 5-2 against the spread in their last seven games in September. Taking a look at some over-unders, the under is 5-1 in the Vikings' last six games in September. The under is 14-6-1 in the Vikings' last 21 road games, and the under is 4-1 in the Steelers' last five games in September. We really like what the Vikings did on offense last week against the Saints, so we think they can have similar success against the Steelers. We're a bit surprised that this line is nearly a touchdown, as the Steelers didn't look that great in the win over Cleveland. So we'll go with the points with the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday. Our pick and prediction is for the Vikings at plus five and a half. For our pick and prediction on this game and every other game this week, and a wealth of free stats and information, check out bangthebook.com. Thank you.